everybody, it's Jessica DeMasa and welcome to this episode of Health in 2.0 from the beautiful Hotel Del Coronado. We are here at XMED. I've got Mr. Matthew Holt at my side. You're like the king and I'm the queen here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I thought these chairs were very, very appropriate for us, Jessica. Of course you would pick this. Stefano Bini from UCSF and a plethora of surgeons. So I thought there was some interesting stuff going on because you know Shafi is all about virtual surgery and doing stuff in 3D and doing surgery on Snapchat and teaching people all over the world. But they're extending that. There's also a whole bunch of quantification and process and now analytics about who's doing what with surgery, with robotic surgery. Um, and Stefano was talking about the other sort of peripheral things that have been brought into the world of surgery. So basically surgeons are going to be better trained, trained faster, and measured more, we're going to have to figure out more about patient outcomes and patient satisfaction and patient access to people over the world. So it's a very inspiring session with Shafi and uh, Stefano and a bunch of other people belong. Very cool. So I understand this is your first XMED. Daniel Kraft finally invited you to slum it up. No, I'm joking. Um, so, what was right, your, actually, uh, right. so what was your favorite session so far? I think the best one was actually a patient session. I haven't, haven't been a month as many patient voices on the stage as I would like. But we had an amazing position, Dr. Nina Rabi from uh, New York, where she visits workers who've been sex trafficked, in, sorry, work, people who've been sex trafficked, all of them in Rikers Island in jail, and about their issues about getting access to care and dealing with care and being scared of care and how to really think about the patient. And immediately after that, my friend e patient Dave gave a whole real bunch of analysis about letting access to the patient, actually, yeah. access to data for patients and access to patient patient okay. care and access to cool. you know, letting the patients help. Fantastic. Alright, AI. What was going on with AI at this conference? So I've heard, time. I've heard, if I've heard once, I've heard like eight times on the stage that apparently DeepMind beat the best Go player in the world. So I that's don't even about know it. what this is. Apparently it's a game that's very hard to win if you're not called DeepMind, but computers playing themselves are better. It was like war games. Okay, great. Alright, and so, um, other big takeaway for you. Oh, keep going. <laughs> Alright. That's it, last question. Get the, last take, the last big takeaway. Oh, I think the other big takeaway, just a session I heard, really interesting session. I, uh, John Brownstein, uh, I'll give him a plug because uh, I just got paid out from my small investment circulation today. So Thank he's you, been paid to say this basically. <laughs> no, I haven't been paid, I'm giving to John, but CIO of Boston, Children's Innovation also of Boston Children's, along with, I think it's Liron uh, Stiegel. Stiegel. From Click. Uh, Gave, they gave a really excellent overview of sort of the, the, the role as why voice matters. And I'm still not quite buying it because I don't like using voice and I think Alexa is the way to go. But you can see it's kind of getting there. It's the next technology that's coming along on top of artificial intelligence as the interface. India has been beating the living out of me about this in Health 2.0, recognizing that voice is super important. And as usually, knew was right and I was wrong. So, uh, yeah. Well, maybe you don't like voice because it doesn't understand you. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? A lot of people with funny accents have to be understood, including what? <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for sharing your perspective with us. Hopefully you feel understood on Health in 2.0. I mean, I know our audience struggles, but we're looking for a sponsor to support <laughs> subtitles. So if you want a sponsor for the Bolty Boy subtitles, please let us know. You can tweet him at Bolty Boy. You can tweet me at Jess Damasa. And of course, you can follow along with our hashtag, hashtag health in 2.00. Make sure you look for our old episodes and new ones on YouTube. Just search health in 2.00 there. And I'm going to shamelessly plug myself. If this is out and the X-Men is still going on, check out the live stream. I'm hosting the live stream. Um, so when the main stage goes on break, you can catch some interviews and stuff with me there, which is fun. I can talk to some and very And a final thanks to our cameraman, behind the scenes. Yes. We've around, Amy Lee from Dancer Healing. has got a new website up called Stage IV and Roman Numerals. Awesome. We will get that up so that everybody can see it. Thanks for watching this episode of Health in 2.00. Bye.